A construction site is dangerous enough as it is, but what about when you fill it with mech suit powered zombies and killer robots? Here are five tips to help you survive the first hour of the surge. When you first start the game after the opening cutscene, you'll be asked to make a choice between the Lynx and Rhino gear sets. We recommend starting off with the Lynx rig. While the Rhino set may offer a higher armor rating and substantially boost your weapon impact, it's going to be much easier to actually get the Lynx gear set, since 90% of the enemies you'll encounter are wearing that armor. Not only will it provide better protection against attacks, but you'll also receive a bonus to your attack speed for wearing the complete set. Once you're into the game proper and have found yourself a replacement power core in the assembly halls, before returning to the medbay to install it, be sure to enter the pipe on your right on the way back. There's a worker in here who you can kill for some extra scrap, but there's also a small pile of rare metal scrap worth 600 tech scrap. There's also another one behind the old machinery on the other side of the corridor as well, which is worth 400. There are also two hugely valuable implants to pick up before heading back to repair your power core. Inside the blue container in front of the med bay on your way back, you'll find a V1 vital boost, which will boost your health bar. More importantly is what you'll find by smashing the boxes next to the med bay door and heading to the end of the platform past the exo lift. The aggression amplifier refills a portion of your health, in this case the V1 restores 10%, every time you perform a finishing move. This is super valuable, especially early on, since you may not always have a spare vital injection on hand when in a fight. Next, once you do reinstall your power core and head back into the assembly hall, make sure to cut off the weapon arm of the second enemy you see. The Aster Vibro Cutter may not be the strongest weapon you find in the abandoned production zone, but its balance of speed and damage are a massive step up from the busted piston you found when you first woke up. That said, if you do want something that deals a hefty dose of crunch, head down into the power station below the assembly halls. This is where you overcharge the terminal that powers up the maglev train, but instead of heading back upstairs, follow the opposite hallway around and head down the exo lift. Make your way through the halls and you'll find a closed door. Open it to find one of your former co-workers wielding a massive Titan industrial wrench that's been repurposed into a makeshift warhammer. Hopefully these tips will help you survive the first hours of your adventure through the Creo Complex. For more on the Surge, stick around on IGN.